So for the United States examples, we decided to focus on the pay disparity between actors and actresses. Um, it's very well known that actors are paid a substantially more than what actresses are making. Um, and it's really come out since 2013-14. There's been a lot of information released about that. In 2014, the Sony hack, there were emails that were released about the pay disparity between Jennifer Lawrence and Amy Adams and their pay disparity between their male co-stars uh, Bradley Cooper and Christian Bale. Jennifer Lawrence and Amy Adams got 7% of the movie's box office products, while Bradley Cooper and Christian Bale each got about 9%. Um, since then, Jennifer Lawrence has since spoken out about this pay disparity and how she feels that she did not negotiate up to her self-worth, which I'll get a further into in the um, next few slides. But basically, since then, in the newer movie that she just came out with with Chris Pratt in Passengers, she's been asking for about 30% of the profit after the movie breaks even which is going to double what Chris, Pr Chris Pratt's salary is so she has since used the information that she has to make herself more marketable and really do ask for that money it's not just Jennifer Lawrence speaking out um, in 2013 the Forbes list of top paid actors and actresses were released and it was found out that actors are making about two and a half times as much money as top paid actresses and that meant that with actresses were only making 40 cents to every dollar that the best male uh, actors were being paid. Uh, men collectively made about $465 million as women made only $181 million. This caused a lot of actresses like Patricia Arquette to speak out and she did speak about this during the 2013 Oscars. The Forbes list is listed um, as Robert Downey Jr. as a top paid actor, made about $75 million that year. Denzel Washington made $33 million and Liam Neeson also made $33 million. When you look at the top paid actresses, Angelina Jolie, who is the top paid actress in 2013, made $33 million, Jennifer Lawrence made $24 million, and Kristen Stewart made $22 million. It's really um, a huge disparity when the number two and three actors were making $33 million, and that is what the number one actress was making. So you can really see the disparity between what all the men made versus what the women did make and how that's really not fair, and that's why it caused actors and actresses to speak out. Uh, Jennifer Lawrence has since spoken out, and she spoke out in an article of... Um, an online magazine called Lenny. She did speak out that she didn't negotiate to her full stability because she didn't want people to think that she was spoiled or difficult because she was such a young actress. But it wasn't until after this all came out that she realized that she was worth a lot more. And since then, she has spoken out um, and she has been asking for money, more money. And it's not fair that just because she was a woman that they were going to see her as difficult or spoiled and these actors didn't have to do the same thing and they weren't thought of the same way even though they were making more than her and she um, was just as much as a lead co-star co in that movie. A little bit of a different side of this is the Big Bang Theory. Uh, when the bank, Big Bang Theory was being picked up for its 10th season, there was some discussion over um, how much each of the actors and actresses made per episode. The five original co-stars were four males and one female being Kaylee Cuoco. Uh, when it came down to it during the 10th season, the, the four main uh, male co-stars and Kaylee Cu Cuoco were all making $1 million per episode. And the other two um, females on the show that were recently named um, series regulars were Mayim Balik and Melissa Rauch. They were only making $200,000 per episode. People may be able to say that because they were later ads to the show, that's why they're not making as much money. And even though Kaylee Cuoco was on the show the whole time, she is making the same, but they decided to take it into their own hands because they believe that their other co-stars should be making at least somewhat what they were making. So they each decided to take a $100,000 pay cut, which resulted in about $500 split between um, Balak and Rauch to split between themselves. So there are some actresses and actresses that are taking the pay cuts because they believe that the other people in the industry do deserve the same pay that they are being making. 